One of the challenges of, of modern time is music. Of modern time you find it everywhere. Now my advice to our dear youth, now my advice to our dear youth I'll ask you this question. It distracts you from the reality of life keeps you away from Allah and from khushu'a. Believe me, when you're addicted to listening to music, you will not... Hi guys, you're welcome back. So what's wrong with inappropriate music in Islam? And this answer will be given to us by Shaid Muhammad. Let's watch. Assalamu alaikum Sayyidina. Alaykum as salam wa rahmatullah. I'm going to ask you a, a question that I honestly see almost all the youth have a struggle with, especially those living here in the West. Okay. And that is related to m listening to music. Unfortunately, uh, as much as we know, clear cut that music is haram, a lot of us who even come to the Islamic centers and we claim to be Muslims and whatnot, we belittle the, the sin of listening to music to an extent that we see it as completely permissible. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's because of our surroundings, whether it's in school, university, the friends we are engaged with, listen to it. So we are desensitized and we belittle it. So how can we explain, especially to people who might not be necessarily super religious, that music is not permissible in Islam? And what kind of ways can we suggest to such people so that they can cut on this bad habit? Thank mm. you. One of the challenges of modern time is music. Yes. You find it everywhere. everywhere. It's, per it it's pervasive. You yes. can't get away from it, right? <laughs> you even go to a restaurant, they have this, you know, music coming from above you. Mm -hmm. You go to Tim Hortons, they have mm -hmm. this music above you. Everywhere you go, yes, so there's I'm music. And this is a big challenge for our youth. Mm -hmm. You know, once a Sayyid al Baru Jirdi, you know, one of the great scholars, a few decades ago, they were discussing music when one of those pious men. He told him, you know, music, I find it very unattractive. When I hear music, it really uh, is, it's very unattractive. <laughs> you know what they say he told him? He told him, you know what, even though he was very pious, he told him, you're not, you're abnormal. Because music is not haram because it's unattractive. Or it's because something that the self, you know, uh, finds it very problematic. No. In fact, we can easily interact with the music. We easily find the temptation and the joy in it. It's something that brings you joy. It's one of the temptations of life. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has outlawed many types of music. Now my advice to our dear youth, I'll ask you this question. Why are drugs prohibited? Are drugs good or bad? It's it's dangerous we're not video. talking about prescription drugs, no. The bad drugs, cocaine, heroin, these types of drugs. Are they good or are they bad? They're bad. Why are they bad? Because it's harmful. If you take them once, I don't think it's going to kill you, right? Maybe the harm that it will bring you is just like that delicious, oily hamburger, right? It also has that harmful effect. If you take it once, it's not going to kill you. But why should you stay away from it even once? Why? For what reason? What is it about drugs that makes them so dangerous? Exactly, they're addiction. They make you addicted. You take that cocaine once, maybe it's not going to kill you, obviously. It's not going to hospitalize you or make you sick. But if you take it once, you're going to take it again and again. Yeah. The same with other types of drugs. They are addictive. One aspect of music is that it's addictive. Once you get the hang of listening to music and you go into the world of music, you can't let go. Once it becomes addictive, it becomes a distraction. It, da it distracts you from your Lord because it awakens the animalistic desires that we have. Let me ask you this very honest question. When you have a young man or a young woman and they're listening to this music, especially the provocative type of music, you know, the one that awakens your desires, that type of music, the strong type of music, after listening to that music, honestly, honestly, 
Do you really feel like standing and doing your salah or reading dua or no? You're pulled towards the sins. Which one? Be honest with me. If what I'm saying is wrong, I want someone to correct me. Music brings us closer to sin because it's an addiction and a distraction. It distracts you from the reality of life. It distracts you from your Lord. And it doesn't make you feel any better. Yes, temporarily maybe it makes you feel better. Just like drugs, those who are high on drugs, I'm sure they tell you that it feels very good. But then after a while, when the effect of the drug goes, what happened? They fall down. Music may make you feel good, but throughout time, it actually has a negative impact on you. Uh. You know, if you ever see someone that tells you, you know, no, music makes me find this peace within me and makes me a peaceful for person and a calm person. If at one time, they're listening to that music and they're way into it, go shut it off, see what happens. Try it next time. <laughs> Their mood will change. See what happens. What kind of reaction will you get? Mm, very terrible. Anger. What kind of reaction will you get? Okay. You'll see the person. Getting angry. Why did you turn it off? They'll get angry. Yes. Immediately there is anger. Habibi, I thought this was supposed to calm you down. Ah! Where is this anger coming Not from? Possible. I thought this was supposed to calm you down. You should be now calm. You should say, Ahlan, Habibi, thank you for pushing that button. No, that's not the reaction you get, right? Yeah. It's a distraction. Big one. So my advice to our beloved youth, don't allow yourself to get addicted to something that distracts you, keeps you away from Allah and from khushu'a. Believe me, when you're addicted to listening to music, you will not find khushu'a in salah. You think you will find khushu'a in salah? Mm. You'll find that humbleness and focus in salah? You cannot. So this is very brief. Of course, we can talk for hours about music and its bad effects, but I guess that summarizes it briefly. Oh, wow. I love this mass teaching. Like, so calm, and you understand it very, well, very, very comprehensive. So thank God he made mention of something that has always been on my mind. But I was looking for the perfect time to say it or a perfect video that will make me comment on that. You know, if music is Aram in Islam, it's not good. It's forbidden to listen to music as a Muslim. So what do you call those people that when they go out and everywhere they find themselves, they listen to the music, they hear the music. So if you go, maybe go to the supermarket, music is being played. You walk on the street, music is being played. You are not listening to it voluntarily. You don't have choice than to absorb it. Your mind will... You, don't, you can't even close your ears. Because no matter how you try to close your ears, how long do you want to close your ears while walking down the road? So, those people that listen to such music, are they sin against Allah? And what, what, what does that indicate? So, how do you... To me, I believe you can't eradicate... Like, you can't stop it totally. There's no way you can stop yourself from listening to music as a Muslim. Because the world in which we are right now is the world in which, you know, entertainment is everywhere. Everywhere you go to, you will find them playing music. But I love the mass comments. It was like, okay, that one, you know, you can't do without listening to it. But if you make it sink into your mind too much, then there is a problem. But if you're passing by, even though you're listening, you know, there are sometimes that you'll be listening to music on the road, but you're not paying attention. You are focused on where you're going to, or you're focused on what you want to go and do. So that one is still okay. But if it's the one that you're passing by, and they're playing the music, and from your mind you're singing along, or that, that music drew your attention, then that is a big problem. That one is a no-no. Then that one is not accepted. So, I love the fact that he said that, you know, try your possible best to, you know, the world we are in is full of music. You can't, you know, you can't neglect it. But make sure that even though your, your mind or your mind has absorbed such music, when you have time, pray, you know, make sure that it doesn't stick into your mind. You know, there are some songs that you listen to on the road. 
And when you get home, the song will just flash back on your memory and you start singing it. It will be repeating on your mind repeatedly. It will be coming up from your head. So such things should not be allowed. You should find a way to distract yourself from remembering or singing those songs from your head. So it was like, you know, yes, it's inappropriate to listen to music, but the world we are in, there's no way you can totally ignore it. But there's a way you can work on yourself or work on it in which it will not affect you as a Muslim, you know, there's a way you can go about it. Even make mention of, you know, people that when you're addicted to something, it will be hard for you to stop. So as long as you're not addicted to you listening to music or you're not trying to soak, sink your mind into those music, then you are good to go. I love his teaching. It was very, very interesting. I love the fact that he spoke what a lot of people had in mind. His explanation is so, so relatable. And that was what I really enjoyed about this video. So let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.